So I am on my way now from Mokragora to a village very nearby, which is called Drvengrad. Drvengrad. It's a very tiny village, a very touristic village. It was just built, well, it was not built for tourism, but it became a, an only like tourism village because it's a village that was built, was built for a movie. For the film Life is a Miracle of Emir Kusturica. And I love Emir Kusturica. I love this movie especially. So that's why I always wanted to come here to see the village of the the village of the movie. Life is a miracle. Such an unbelievable movie. Yeah, and Emir Kusturica is such a great uh, a great film director. That's the only reason for me to come here to go to see Drvengrad. Finally, I heard about this village many years ago, but I never had the opportunity to to go to Serbia to come to come here to see it finally. Oh. So let's go to the, to Drvengrad. Oh, I think it's Klagen or something. It has a German name. I don't know why, but. Uh, but anyway, the Serbian name is Drvengrad. So here we arrive in, Ven in Drvengrad. It's a little weird, there are fences all around. Most popular football player ever. And one of the most popular murderers ever, also. Murderers are very popular, like Che Guevara. So I guess the houses were built in the in the traditional way. Traditional Serb Serbian way. Wooden houses. The, the name of the streets are related to Emir Kusturica, to people he like. So here you have Federico Fellini. Of course, I mean, when you are a, a movie maker, a film director, you must love a few, a few other movie makers. You have Federico Fellini, there you have uh, Stanley Kubrick. I don't know where, somewhere else you have um, the greatest, Andrei Tarkovsky. And I think there you have Emir Kusturica himself. So of course the greatest, the, one of the most famous Serbian uh, scientists, Nikola Tesla, it has the street Nikola Tesla, street Ivo Andrić. Uh, so he was a Serbian writer who had the Nobel Prize. Ulica. Oh, of course, look. Ingmar Bergman. Well, that would be the greatest also with Andrei Tarkovsky. Probably both of them are the greatest movie makers who lived, who ever lived. You can see there in, um, in the Latin alphabet, Ingmar Bergman, Nikita Michalkov, another movie maker I love, a Russian guy, who made uh, great movies actually.
Pisat. So that's the house of the writers. Maybe that could be Tolstoy. I don't know. Or Dostoevsky. The same cars as in the movies. Of course, Ernesto Guevara <laughs> with his friends. Well, a very fashionable murderer, Visconti, Noam Chomsky, Luchino Visconti, of course. <laughs> and there, look at that. So that's the square, Diego Armando Maradona. Oh my god. Diego Armando Maradona. I love Maradona. But what I'm looking for, actually, for me, the the name I want to see. Oh, I'm back in Federico Fellini Street, so I need to go somewhere else. I want to find Andrei Tarkovsky. Because he's the one. The chosen one, somehow. Where is Andrei Tarkovsky? So, finally, Andrea Darkovsko. Andrei Tarkovsky. So yeah, I was saying the yeah. As soon as you get in a in a touristic area, it's like people are not friendly anymore. It's 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 really funny. It's everywhere the same. <laughs> it's like in when I was in Visegrad, it was exactly the same. Like when I was staying, I was a little bit outside of the city, and I was a little bit outside of the city. And when I was staying, people were so friendly. I mean, my host was extremely friendly, really. Oh no, well, I want to go out. How do you get out of this place? Anyway, I go back up. In the in the area where I was staying, everything was everybody was super friendly. In the restaurant, the people, the workers were extremely friendly. The waiters, the my host was like extremely friendly, really great people. And when I was going to the to Visegrad itself near Andrijgrad, which is a kind of a bit touristic because it has a this a bridge, a UNESCO a UNESCO a bridge, a UNESCO bridge, and. Uh, People were so well not nice anymore. Like they were, they did not want to talk to you. Were just rude. It's the difference between touristy and not touristy is so great. 